What's up, everyone? Giant Opinions here. The Giants beat the San Diego Padres today, 7-6 to six final score. The Giants take the series from the Padres in San Diego, two games to one. Madison Bumgarner pitched today and quite possibly could be his last game as a San Francisco Giant. We don't know. Uh, I'm assuming the Giants will be selling, though, uh, contrary to what many Giants fans want. But I thought Bumgarner pitched a really good game today. I know he did give up four runs, and it may not sit well with some fans, but he only gave up four hits an entire ball game. And to be honest, he probably he would have only given up one run if he just didn't miss that one pitch to Hunter Renfro. Uh, so he would have only given up one run. I thought it was a great game, though. I think he had six or seven strikeouts, uh, one of those two. But I thought it was a great game that he pitched. He just made one mistake, and it really did hurt him. Uh, the offense came alive today. 16 hits, I believe. That's insane. That's insane because in the first two games, the Giants' offense looked dead. It was terrible. I'll get to that later, though. But uh, Mike Yastrzemski is the star today. I think he went four for five. Great game by him. Uh, I'd say he was really the one that put the Giants uh, over the Padres today. Donovan Solano had himself a great game, too. And Brandon Crawford, he came in clutch, too. So, the offense, it was clicking today. And if the Giants want to make the playoffs, they the offense has got to put up more than just one and two runs. Because in the uh, I'm going to get to it, but the first and second game, the offense that the Giants had, it's unacceptable. And that makes me want the Giants to sell. Because if, if our offense is like that for say, half of the games that the Giants play, that is not playoff worthy, and we are not winning anything. But uh, w the game was almost blown today by Will Smith, but he did still get the save. It was scary. I feel like Will Myers kills the Giants no matter what. I feel like every time it's, it's in the ninth inning or after, he always finds a way to do damage against the Giants. But that's enough for today's game. Last night's game, the Giants lost final score. 5-1, to one, the Padres won. Sean Anderson, he was a little bit rocky. He did give up seven hits and four runs, or, yeah, four runs, I believe. Uh, he did have seven strikeouts, but it still doesn't make up for the fact that uh, he was pretty much the reason why the Giants lost, besides the offense. But I think Pablo Sandoval, yeah, Sandoval had the only RBI in last night's game, too. I believe Tony Watson gave up a run, too. But it's a disappointing start. Anderson has struggled a bit in his past few starts. His strikeouts are definitely looking good, but he's given up too many hits. So it's a little bit of a problem, and he's giving up too many runs. Uh, hopefully he can bounce back in the next series that he pitches in. I don't think it's Philadelphia. Maybe, though. But it, that game was disappointing. I think the Giants only had four hits in total last night. It's unacceptable. Uh, the Padres don't really have star pitchers, let's just face the facts, so it was disappointing. But in the first game, the Giants won 2-1. to one. That game was okay. Pitching, Jeff Smart pitched a really good game, and the bullpen also kept it together, uh, giving up no runs. Melanton didn't blow the game, so that was a nice surprise. But offense is still unacceptable. Pablo Sandoval had that extra innings home run, though, so that was clutch, and that did put the Giants over the Padres. Uh, Will Smith got the save. But two runs is not enough. It's not enough, and the Padres don't have that elite pitching. So the Giants should at least, at least be getting three runs against the Padres. But offense was disappointing. Sandoval did, I mean, he was the reason why the Giants won that game, if you ask me. But enough of that. Uh, standout players in the series. Mike Yastrzemski went off today. Uh, he, got enough, he got a few more base hits in the previous games, too. Pablo Sandoval, uh, he also did great, too. He did basically win the game for the Giants in the first game, and he did come up with the only RBI in last night's game. Alex Dickerson had himself a nice series, too, if you ask me. He didn't really uh, hit a home run or anything, but he still contributed. Donovan Solano, too. Solano needs to start over Joe Panic, if you ask me. Panic's just not good enough anymore, and Solano has that high average, and he's not even a bad defender, so... I hope Bochi does decide that Solano should be the starter at second base. So, and Madison Bumgarner, and just the whole Giants bullpen in general. Will Smith was a little shaky. Tony Watson did slip up a little bit, but besides that, the bullpen was great. 
Uh, starting pitching, it was alright. Uh, besides Sean Anderson's start, I thought it did generally pretty well. Uh, but yeah, that's really all I have. I believe the Giants sit two games back from the wild card still. So this uh, the Giants have an off day tomorrow, so you never know. A trade could go down, so I will be on top of that. And I'm just going to be on top of any trade deadline stuff that's going on right now. I uploaded a uh, Marcus Stroman reaction video like 30 minutes ago, so check that out if you want. But that's all I have for you today. Let me know what you thought about the series. And yeah, that's all I have, and I'll see you on the next one.